So can liking a post get you into any, any trouble? So recently, uh, there was a ruling from the Allahabad High Court on a case about uh, a person called Mohammed Imran Kazi uh, against whom a charge sheet had been filed in 2019 uh, for provocative messages uh, on Facebook uh, that the police said led to an unlawful assembly of some 600 or 700 people. Uh, but in the course of the uh, case, it was found uh, that he had no posts uh, on his Facebook posts. There was no content. Um, and so, you know, the Allahabad High Court called the investigated, uh, the investigating officer to appear in court. And it turns out that Mohammed Imran Kazi had merely liked a message posted by someone else because of which this charge sheet has been filed against him. Uh, this is uh, reminiscent of a previous case uh, in, uh, I think, what is it, 2011, 2012. Uh, when a senior politician from Maharashtra had died and uh, Shaheen Dada had done a post basically saying, why should uh, we have a holiday when a politician dies? Uh, this was a Shiv Sena politician and uh, Renu Srinivasan had liked that post. So the news reports at that time indicated that the uh, local Shiv Sena folks in this uh, town called Palgar, where Shaheen Dada uh, was from, basically got both Sahin and Renu arrested for a brief period of time. This led to a case being filed in the Supreme Court against Section 66A of the IT Act, under which uh, these two girls had been arrested. Now, remember one thing. Sahin Dada may have done the post. It was Renu Srinivasan who only liked the post. So why should someone be held accountable for just liking something? They haven't created it. They haven't shared it. Uh, and so the Allahabad High Court has ruled in this case, um, and 66A was declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court anyway. But uh, the Allahabad High Court has ruled that merely liking is not an act of transmission. Um, and given that this person is not transmitted or distributed this content, uh, Muhammad Imran Kazi uh, should be let go. Um, and so it's. Uh, I think this is an important thing to keep in mind when it comes to cases in uh, on social media in particular. Um, that liking something is is fine, but I wonder how the courts will deal with something like sharing or retweeting, because those would then uh, come under this uh, under the purview of distribution. Uh, you might not be responsible for posting that content, but you have effectively amplified it. Um, in the same way, should people be held accountable for forwards that they write, uh, that, that they share on WhatsApp or on Telegram or on Signal? So uh, when it comes to platforms, different kinds of actions are going to be treated differently. Um, we haven't seen anyone being prosecuted for uh, sharing a WhatsApp forward. Uh, but given this verdict, the interesting fact is that uh, effectively it is transmission and distribution of a message. Of course, the other angle to look at when it comes to fake news is that something that is incorrect or false may not necessarily be illegal. The outcome that it causes might be. Um, I've always held the view that people should be held accountable for what they do uh, as long as it is not incitement to violence. And so if you're forwarding something and someone's reacting to it and a mob is, collate, is collecting together because you forwarded something, you might be forwarding that uh, just to let people know that this is happening. You're not necessarily inciting violence. Anyway, there are no easy answers to these questions. Um, in the meantime, please do like this video. Uh, and if you think it's not illegal, please feel free to share it.